Okay. Yep. What? what? <laughs> What's up guys? So today we're going to talk about renting out our house. Let's get to it. So as some of you guys might know, we bought a house during the beginning of our second year of medical school. If you didn't know, here's a link above. But we bought this house with the intention of renting it out later on. Um, we weren't sure if that was actually going to happen, but here we are two years later and we in fact are renting it out. We've already yeah. signed the lease, um, so we're, we're doing it. Yeah, it's been exciting. Um, Definitely wasn't expecting the amount of headaches that was going to come with renting out a house and the number of repairs and modifications and upgrades that it would take. But we got a signed contract. Um, the details of it are we're getting a thousand dollars a month for the property um, and then like our expenses, like just the mortgage alone is like 450 but then you have like insurance and things like that. So the profit's going to be about like $300 or so per month. So it's not going to be, you know, you know, groundbreaking money, but like it'll be like a decent amount of money. But a lot of the um, upgrades that we've done to the house were beneficial to us yeah. when we moved in. So um, it makes it a lot easier when we moved into a house or you move into a house with the intention of renting it, but you better it and you benefit from the upgrades as well. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So we some of the upgrades we did were like downstairs we added like a sump pump i redid one of the bathrooms and made it look a lot nicer it had like a drop ceiling in it and i put like wood like a wood like coated ceiling we fixed up the um gas fireplace we fixed some of the windows yeah, replaced a few windows, things like that. So it made the house a lot nicer to live in. Which, like we said, benefits us, especially when we were paying over $1,000 a month in rent and we weren't happy at all. Um, our landlord was terrible, and so buying a house just seemed like the better option for us anyways. We yeah. saved a significant amount of money on a monthly basis, and then we took that extra money, put it into this house, and now it's a long-term investment that we have. Yeah, when we bought this house, we knew we were going to rent it out. Um, we didn't know like what avenue of real estate we're gonna go down in the future. Like, I still don't even know what we're gonna do. I kinda like the idea that real estate has and the passive income that you can get from it and like the long-term security it has. And like, we can do a whole other video on like our thoughts on real estate, but like, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be fun. Um, I hope our tenants are, are chill. It seems like they're going to be, but you never know. We decided to go um, a little bit safer route and rent to med students. Um, it seemed like a good first step for us. We have an in with that population already, obviously. So we reached out to um, med students uh, through Chase's Med School and yeah. um, it we know that they're gonna be fairly decent people. They've already been vetted by the med school themselves. Um, they have a connection to us, so likely they're not going to screw us, basically. Right. So it made us feel safer just dipping our toe in the water, and then in the future, we can hopefully expand. Yeah, so our contract's 24 months long, which I feel like is kind of long, but we know that they're gonna be here, right? And we know that they have guaranteed income from their student loans. So like, I feel safe, like we didn't really do like we didn't take into account like how much money they made like that was something that we advertised because like when we were renting an apartment the first time it's so hard to get an apartment when your income is from student loans that doesn't like most places won't look at that as lo as money that you can spend but for us we didn't even look at income because we just trusted that med students are going to be you know true to their word and, and paid the money that they say they're going yeah to. we know from personal experience that they're getting loan money yeah. so we can count on that loan money coming in for at least the next 24 months so yeah. we're not too concerned but uh if you guys have any questions please leave a comment down below um this is something we're both super excited about and really passionate about too so we'd love to share our knowledge and experiences that we've had so far but other than that we'll see you next time thanks